Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how I got my job in Canada from India. So without wasting our time, let's get started. But before I tell you how I got my job, let me tell you how I got my work permit. My husband and I were trying to get Canada PR since very long time. We tried for almost three years through express entry and nothing worked. Then we decided that we'll go for the education for two years and then we will get the work permit valid for three years for both of us. Now my husband chose to go for education because I didn't want to do any education and I already had four years engineering degree. So my husband came here three years back. Our initial plan was to get me in Canada within a six month, but Corona came to surprise all of us and my visa got delayed by two years. Then my visa came this year, February 2022. I landed in Canada on June 3rd. The moment I received my visa, I was eligible to work in Canada. Trust me, there were so many people who told me that you won't, you won't get a job from India, you have to be here in Canada, um, you won't get through blah blah blah, but as usual I didn't listen to any of them and I started hunting for job. So these are the steps that you should take if you are eligible to work in Canada and to find a job from India. First thing, update your resume. Now there are a lot of people who will tell you that your resume is supposed to be in Canadian format. Trust me, that's not required. But yes, having your resume up to date and up to the point is very important. Second thing, update your LinkedIn profile. The moment I received my work permit, I immediately went on LinkedIn and updated my profile and along with my job profile, I also mentioned that I am eligible to work in Canada and holds work permit valid for this much years. I started applying for the jobs in Toronto, Vancouver and all cities where I can find IT jobs. Now, I made it really clear to Canadian employer that I was not in Canada and my plans to fly Canada because my ticket were booked. There were a lot of employers who actually rejected my profile and said that I'm supposed to be in Canada to, to give interview. Some of them said that once you're in Canada, we can have interview scheduled, but my company was ready to take my interview. They initiated interview process. So first round was a casual HR round. They, they wanted to know me, my interest and my corporate values so that I can align with their company or not. Second was coding down. They gave me a problem statement and I had to solve it. Third was again coding down where they wanted me to add more scenarios to the problem statement that I solved in the second round. Fourth round was with the VP of the company, followed by fifth round with the HR of the company to discuss about the offer and compensation. In this video, I'm not going to tell you the detailed process of the interviews that happened. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely make another video on that. This whole conversation happened on Zoom. So I didn't need to buy or purchase any virtual number. But in your case, if you need to buy a virtual number, it's not a tough process. You can go ahead and buy it. You can also take an advantage of LinkedIn profile. Try to build your connection on LinkedIn. Try to contact people with a similar profile and similar interests. Send them personalized note mentioning your scenario and also try to understand how they came to Canada and what helped them so that you can get some learning out of it. I landed here on June 3rd and visited office one week before joining to see the workplace and started working from June 20th. So this is my experience and I would suggest you not to waste your time if you have valid work permit or PR and you're eligible to work in Canada, immediately start looking for a job in Canada and don't waste your time at all. If you're watching this video because you have work permit or PR and you're eligible to work in Canada and looking for a job in IT sector, you can send me your resume on the email address mentioned in the description box of the video. I'll definitely refer you in my company and my references too. If this video was helpful to you, it would be great if you click that like button and YouTube will suggest this video to more and more people. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be part of my journey, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and see you in another video.